Can we just think of it? Listen to this. God has not promised me sunshine. I tell you what, our selection of candidates for this upcoming presidential election is looking mighty slim and poor. I personally am not satisfied with any of the candidates, most definitely not the Republican. And I guess I'll just have to deal with the Democrat. But Donald Trump is leading with 33 delegates. You need 1,215 delegates needed to win the nomination. Donald Trump has 33. Nikki Haley has 17. DeSantis had nine, but he dropped out January the 21st, as the other candidate only had three. He also dropped out of the race, along with Chris Christie and Hutchison. They also dropped out of the race as well. Nikki Haley was the former governor of South Carolina. And then and when Trump came into office, he appointed her as an ambassador to the United Nations and she took the appointment. She also recently has applied for secret service protection amid the threats on the campaign trail. But Trump plans to bury her candidacy in her home state. Why doesn't South Carolina love Nikki Haley? It's obvious, isn't it? Well, first of all, she's a woman. And I don't care what anybody says, this country has not gotten beyond uh, sexism and gender inequality. Nikki Haley is the first Indian American to serve in a presidential candidate. She served as the UN ambassador from January 2017 to December 2018, and she was South Carolina's 116th governor from 2011 to 2017. She is from Bamberg, South Carolina. Her husband is Michael Haley. They married in 1996. She was a graduate of Clemson University. She's also an author and a businesswoman. Her family had a clothing business. She served in the South Carolina House of Representatives in 2004 and served three terms. In 2010, during her third term, she was elected governor. She was South Carolina's first female governor and the second US governor of Indian descent after Bobby Jindal of Louisiana. She received national attention for leading the state's response to the 2015 Charleston church shooting. When she was running for governor, she was endorsed by Mitt Romney and Jenny Sanford and also former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin. She defeated the Democratic candidate Vincent Sheehan 51% to 47%. And by the way, that's my classmate. But I think many African Americans and people of color uh, do not feel that life was really good for them during her reign as governor. She also had to stop the Confederate flag from flying on church grounds. She, at first, she didn't want to take a position on moving, removing the flag, but then June 22nd, she called for the removal of the Confederate flag from the state house grounds, and she stated, these grounds, the state capitol, are a place that everybody should feel a part of. What I realize now more than ever is people were driving by and felt hurt and pain. No one should feel pain. There is a place for that flag, but it's not in a place that represents all people in South Carolina. July 2015, she signed a bill to authorize removing the Confederate flag from the flagpole on the grounds of the South Carolina 
capital. She also did not support the anti-trans bathroom bill. And in 2021, she spoke against the executive order 13988, officially titled Preventing and Combating Discriminations on the Basis of Gender, gender Identity or Sexual Orientation. It's going to be interesting, her um, campaigning along or against Donald Trump. Uh, Trump has attacked her on Twitter after she called for him to release his tax records. During the election, she said, I will not stop until we fight a man that chooses not to disavow the KKK. That is not a part of our party. That's not who we want as president. We will not allow that in our country. I most definitely would rather have her um, than have that tangerine Mussolini back in office. May God help us. And I am so glad that DeSantis, the governor of Florida, has dropped out of the race. She also denounced the criminal charges against Trump in New York, saying that it was pro the prosecution was political, but took a less firm stance on the indictment of Trump for keeping classified documents, saying that if the indictment is true, then President Trump was incredibly reckless with our national security, but also criticizing the prosecution as an overreach and a vendetta. It's not a vendetta. Trump is a criminal. The Tangerine Mussolini is a criminal. He doesn't pay his debts. He doesn't pay people who sued him and what they owe. He sexually harasses and he does just does so much. So I personally, whatever's coming for him, he deserves it and more. December the 27th, 2023, there was a question about the American Civil War and slavery. Haley responded to the question about the origins of the American Civil War. She says, I think the cause of the Civil War was basically how government was going to run. The freedoms and what people could and couldn't do. After receiving, receiving criticism for her failure to mention slavery, Haley restated her position the next day saying, of course, the Civil War was about slavery. She has written several books. Can't is not an option. With all due respect, Defending America with Grit and Grace, a better blueprint for international organizations. If you want something done, leadership lessons from bold women. She has uh, received several awards, two honorary doctorates, and an honorary fourth Dan Black Belt. She also received awards from India. and they have two children. Uh, Nikki Haley converted to Christianity in 1997 and she and her husband attend the United Methodist Church. She, she was asked if she hopes her parents will convert to Christianity and she said, what I hope is that my parents do what's right for them. Her husband is an officer in the South Carolina Army National Guard and had a tour of duty in Afghanistan in 2013. They reside on an island near the city of Charleston. She has an estimated net worth of $1 million in 2019. Her net worth grew to an estimated $8 million by 2022, propelled in part by book sales and also joining the corporate boards of Boeing and the United Homes Group. Well, she most definitely is a smart lady, but I'd rather have her than the Tangerine Mussolini any day, but I personally hope 
Biden gets back in office because I just don't trust uh, Republicans. Their ideology is in 1865. Their mental, their values, and I don't know why African Americans are fooled by them, but their mentality is that of 1865. Can we just think of it? Listen to this. God has not promised me sunshine because